Hi and welcome to Soul Healing. I am Lara. Today we are going to, to go through the energies. I'm going to channel the energies that are going on, moving on this weekend and next week. For some people these energies are already happening. So what I see here, what the, the messages and the sensations, the feelings I am receiving for this message is dissatisfaction. You are not satisfied with um, a place that you are in, with a situation, with a job, with a relationship. There is, there is something that is not bringing you joy anymore. You are feeling very, very low energy that that situation or that place where you are or um, a job, relationship, whatever it is you're going through, for some people is a relationship, for some others is a, a workplace, uh, somewhere that you are in and you, you, you don't find joy anymore there. You are feeling a lot of dissatisfaction for, for being there. And you are in this ongoing uh, loop of evaluating the risk. You want to do something about it. But you are you you are seeing that there are risks. There are, um, you know, you don't know what you're going to do after, or you are not sure if what you want to do is going to work, or you 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 have a lot of insecurities, fears, that are keeping you in that loop. You know, you don't want to let people down, or or if our kids involved or family involved, you don't want to let them down, and you are like putting the, the puzzle pieces together to see how you can do this. The thing is, for what I am receiving, that this is something that has been going on for a while and you are stuck in this same, uh, in the same energy. Your energy is practically stagnated. You don't move because you, you don't do you not you don't take any action you don't do you are not doing anything or you are moving very slow because you are so afraid of doing something wrong or that things don't go you know exactly as you expected and then you regret it and i see you are trying to push all put all the pieces together so you can um make the right decision the thing is that they tell me you already know what to do, but you are so afraid that you keep looking, like you keep dissecting every little thing to, you know, to find an excuse for you to not go uh, move forward, to, to stay where you are, even you are feeling very, very disconnected and there is like discomfort and dissatisfaction on uh, where you are, on, on what you are doing. So the that that cycle that energy has to close it it is the moment to cut with that and start moving because you feel you are trapped it's like you feel okay i feel the satisfaction here and i want to do here i want to move from a where i i feel disconnected or dissatisfaction and i want to move to b but I feel trapped. I feel that I can move, that I can see things clearly, that uh, I don't know what is going to happen, I don't know what, how to do this. The thing is that you are not trapped. You are trapped in your mind. It's an illusion that you have. You are so afraid of doing what you have to do on moving forward and make a decision. It's very hard to make a decision that you prefer to stay in this illusion that you have, that you feel trapped. No, I feel trapped, I don't know what to do. So that's your excuse, and you're not moving forward. But the thing is that there is a, a cycle that is coming to an end. And if you don't do something about it, something will happen that will move you, force you, and not in a very nice way, to do what you have to do. You will go through a situation, difficult situation, you, um, that, that is going to take you, that is going to force you to do what you have to do. 
not because um, the universe is mean or that you have backlog. No, is that they are giving you the opportunities. They have been presenting you with signs, with dreams, with messages. For you to, in, in you is, you are the one who has to make a decision. No one is going to do it for you. Angels, archangels, the spirits, they are not going to do it for you. You have to stand in your power, take charge of your life, and do what you have to do. And they will help you. They will help you the best way. Anything you need, they will help you to go through it. Okay, but you you are the one who has to make the effort and who has to, to, to take to make the decision and stop being in that excuse, in that loop, or oh no, I feel trapped, I I want this and I know I'm going to be happy with this, but no, I feel I feel that I can't do it, I, I feel trapped. Um, you know, a lot of people do it because they think they don't deserve to be happy, so you have this pattern that um, things are not going to go well and that you don't deserve to be happy. You have to let go of this um, fear or nostalgic or thinking that you are going to let down people or that you're going to miss the place you are in right now or the situation you are in right now because it's not going to be like that. You are moving to something better, to something that you want and that is going to fulfill you. Because right now, you are honestly in a very low energy. You are like, um, if not depressed, you are in the way to depression. Like you feel a void. You feel that it's not anything that you are doing uh, in that place, in that situation is fulfilling. It's not fulfilling anymore. So you have to move and they are giving you they, they are giving you the opportunity to move and the energies that are coming now from now on are going to be pushing you to do what you have to do and God has very funny ways to do things you know so when you are called to move forward and to do something different and to change you better do your part because if not they are going to push and push and push until you make the decision so you need to know they are saying you have the doors of spirits open you have all the help all the support of spirits you have it but you need to trust you need to trust in them and you need to trust in yourself to move forward because now you are very troubled with a lot of um, thoughts you feel heavy, your energy feels heavy. For some of you, you are going to vices or drinking or smoking because um, the energy is very low, very heavy. And you feel so unstable because you don't, you are there trying, trying to make that, to take that step, to make that decision, to take action on it. You, you are like, like that but you back off because of fear and that that has you in this state of anxiousness and you overthink everything and you think again and again and again and it's tormenting you, it's, it's, it's a storm within you and it's not good for a lot of you, you want to communicate something, you know, if you have to leave a place, a job, a, a, a something or, or someone, you want to communicate this you want to say, you know, this is it, I'm going to do something else. And you're trying to communicate that, to have a celebration, to have something good that, that you want to do in your life for, from, for others. You want to express your love to someone that is that you have been hiding your feelings or not communicating. You want to reach out to that person and you want to tell that person how you feel and that you want uh, like a relationship or a a celebration, a marriage or a compromise, something like a commitment, something like that, and you want to express that that to to someone. You want to to express your feeling to that person, and that person is thinking about you. Also, it's a reciprocate um, a feeling. So, and that person shows you. If the person is showing you, even if you are not showing your feelings. 
but the person keep being, you know, like like around, and that that is the person. Is the other person is not showing any, like any any signs that it will take you back or that it's it, it, you know that it, it still thinks about you or still is there. Then don't don't you know don't go there. Try to to try to be assertive in this. Okay, this this is for people that uh, actually are in a connection. They love each other, but they are apart because. One of you have to leave a situation, a place, something that you have to drop so you can uh, have that union, that, that relationship. So you count on the unconditional love. They say you have all the love. You want love. You want that caring. You want that um, acceptance. And you are going to have it. But you need to move. You need to make the change. You need, you need to stop being in that uh, way, you know, like waiting um, for something external to happen so you can have the skills to move forward and actually do your part. It takes courage to leave something behind so you can move forward to something that you want and that is fulfilling for you. And they want you to know you count on all the help that you can have because you already know what to do. This is not new and you have been receiving everything that you need, every confirmation that you need to move forward. And this is the time, the moment to move forward. So, um, let's see, they say to let go of fear. A lot of people are afraid. You have to stand in your power. You need to connect with yourself and your, your self-love empower yourself to connect with the divine within you that is telling you what is what is the right way what is the happiness for you what is going to make you happy and it's not necessarily the place that you are in right now and you already know that and you have to stop denying yourself this because if not you're going to keep dragging this energy is not going to get better when you where you are no matter how long you wait is not going to get better so it is time to move for some people they are saying to protect yourself there comes a a period of abundance the change you're going to make is going to be very criticized um, for uh, you know for people around you people who knows you people that are aware and you need to protect yourself because there are uh, false people around you they don't want the best for you they are trying to keep you where you are and they're going to be very hard on you if you make the change. Do it. Those people are not your friends. Those, those people are not good for you. So don't listen to them and move forward. You know better. Listen to yourself. You know better. No one knows what is best for you, just yourself. So you know better. You know better. Move forward because those, those people that are around you, they, they don't have good intentions. They don't have good intentions. They are not your friends. Even if they say or they, you know, pretend to be, they are not. So, um, that void, they keep telling me, you are a void. You, you are in a void because you want, for a lot of you, is a relationship. You want marriage. You want a family. You want compromise commitment with someone and you are in this huge sadness and void because you want that and you feel you can't have it but you can you just need to find the strength within you to make the necessary changes to unveil things that are like hidden like secrets like hidden you need to put everything all of that out into the light and you will see that everything, you, you, you want to leave all those secrecy and all those lies. And you want that to come into light, to leave that behind, that you, so you can find that happiness within you and with the person you, you want, with the person you, you are um, in love with. You want to find that, happening, that happiness, you want that celebration, you want that family, that commitment. 
for a lot of you this is a soulmate a connection so you are going through a normal soulmate process um, that that is going to be uh, healed when you move forward okay when you have the courage to move forward this there is a lot of romantic feelings passion in this connection in this um, it's, it's right now it's not a relationship because you are in separation be, because you or the other person has to let go of a situation that they are in so you both can be together so this is a soulmate connection a soulmate um, relationship so for each of you needed to find yourself your inner self self-love and needed to understand what the connection is about. This is not lust. This is love, and it's a, it's a connection that comes uh, from the divine. It's um, something that you can um, you can avoid. You know, you can jump this connection. It's something that is meant to be. That is meant to happen. It's guided by you know by God, by the divinity. So there is a lot of learning. In the process a lot of forgiveness between both of you that is going to happen but you need to take the step you need to move forward you need to let go of this void these insecurities fears and move forward because there everything is there for you to be happy everything is there for you to be happy but you need to have the courage and go for it everything is going to be fine you will find the way you can't see the the whole picture right now because this is not how it works you need to show God the universe that you are willing to go for this and then they are going to show you the next step if you are waiting to have the whole picture so you can make a decision or you can move forward it's not going to happen because it doesn't work this way you need to present yourself for what you want. You need to say, I am willing to do this change because I know what I deserve. I deserve happiness and my happiness is there. It's not where I am right now. So I am going for what I deserve. I am going to manifest, to create what I, what, what I deserve, what God is giving me because God is giving you this opportunity to be happy and you keep rejecting it. So stop rejecting this opportunity and move forward. For the ones that are waiting for the other person to make the decision or make the change, this is going to happen. And there has to be a lot of compassion and understanding and forgiveness from you to the other person because everyone is going through their own process, okay? And everyone, um, you know, go through this spiritual growth, in different ways so it's not your job to judge the other person but to love unconditionally the other person so this is the message we have these are the energies you deserve love you deserve happiness you deserve to be in a better place in a better job you deserve to do what your soul is journeying to do so we stop resisting fears are just an illusion everything is going to be okay trust in the universe, trust in God, trust that you are being guided by beautiful spirits of light and everything is going to be fine. Thank you very much for being here with me.